Hey, so we are here today at the home of Mark Kenny and Amber Gould, and also Dillinger Gould, who's here alongside me. And we're here today to have uh, a little pool party with the Southern California hemophilia community, and also to launch the Stop the Bleeding Activity Book, a brand new community resource that we're gonna unveil later today. Let's go on inside, see what's going on. All right. This is the part where we pretend like we're walking inside. It's kind of nice to just get people from Southern California to come from all over. Just have a fun barbecue and pool party, let the kids swim, adults too. Get everybody here and just spend time together. Then we went inside, watched a few episodes, thought it was a good time to introduce the activity workbook for Stop the Bleeding. Thanks everybody for coming out to our little Southern California hemophilia Stop the Bleeding pool party. There's a lot of resources in the bleeding disorders community, but there aren't many that uh, value entertainment and humor in the way that we do and use it as a tool of engagement and education and just being able to get together and kind of have some fun, even though the reason that we're getting together isn't necessarily always so much fun. We've had this show going for a couple years now, but today, for the very first time, we're presenting the Stop the Bleeding activity book so that as you watch the show, it just kind of helps pinpoint what some of the takeaways are from each of our episodes. What are some of the themes? What are some of the things that you as a family can talk about or as a group of friends? Um, so today, for the first time, we're gonna actually use the book. There's not too much on this page. The idea is not that this is like homework or turns a cool, fun web series into something really boring, but just that it kind of makes you think a little bit about what does this series, what does it offer? What does it make you think about as someone living with a bleeding disorder or a family member of someone or a friend of the community? It's just kind of get you thinking. So take a look at it, we'll watch the episode and then when we're done, we'll have some time to write down some thoughts and if you want to share, awesome. And if not, totally cool, you don't have to. Sound good? Yeah. All right, great, let's play the episode. Stop Bleeding is made possible by an unrestricted educational grant from Baxter International Inc. Bleeding can't stop itself, it needs you and I to work together as a team. See, they don't call me a vision anymore. <laughs> that was me. That was me. The one thing that we find in that episode is that all these different characters have to either rediscover their passion or find a way to use their talents to their, to their best advantage for the sake of the communities. So if we look at our book here, uh, it says here, Jackie and Rebecca decide that the best way to make the bake sale a success is to employ the talents of Rebecca's children, Shane and Sierra. One of the examples of putting your talents to use. So then the question for everybody is what talents do you have and how could they be implemented in a local hemophilia or bleeding disorders event? Scarlett, what's a skill or talent that you have? Dancing. Dancing? Yes. Yeah. So like if there was a fundraiser there where everybody went and danced and by doing that they helped raise some money for the hemophilia community, you'd be willing to do that? You'd be a dancer? Yeah. Yeah? All right, let's give a round of applause for Scarlett. Give it up for dancing talent. Good answer. Anybody? Or we can move on to the next. Isaiah? Rapping. Rapping, okay. Uh, I do a lot of writing so I can make a rap about hemophilia and you know, promote advocate for it. Oh, there you go. So, voice in the back is putting you on the spot. Is, yeah, is there something you've been working on? All right, let's hear it. All right, intravenous factor eight before a date, limping to the door, hoarding more emotions than a morbid ape. Popping willies on a chair, school students love to hate. They say you're a fake, no I'm not. I take the smiles off your faces, give you face then I'll try, run you over, then I'll stop. Reverse and start it again like a tick on a broken watch. That was amazing. <laughs> So if you look at the second page, the one that starts with after you watch under chapter, uh, episode three, uh, there's some introductory yoga poses and yoga instruction. And Natalie, who many of you may know from the pool, uh, is also a certified yoga instructor. Katie is now gonna talk a little bit about each of these three versions of balance here. 
and how we saw them in the show just now. I just feel like this event is so nice because it really is and shows what community is about. And they are just asking all the right questions. They're super engaged. Their, their fears are being allayed and um, a lot different from the formal you know, conferences that we have. So this was a fantastic event. We're just wrapping up the pool party. The activity book stuff went really, really well. It was cool to see all the, the kids energized about answering the questions and identifying what some of the takeaways and some of the themes of the episodes are. Um, it was great to have Michelle Kim from the chapter here in SoCal. And uh, a lot of fun to see Seth and Katie and Rob and Schwa cast members from the show interacting with the community here and splashing around in the pool like fools. Um, it's just a great, it was a great day, great community event and we've now officially launched the activity book. So if you want to find the activity book, go to stbhemo.com backslash activity book. And thanks for checking out the video. I don't know what this is. <laughs>